Today I will talk about vernier and micrometer calipers. This is experiment 1 that is about the instruments that we often use in physics measurement. So, student must pay attention how to measure and use the instruments. In principle, the vernier scale is extensively used in physics, which is the addition of normal scale. The top lines are vernier scale and the bottom lines are main scale. As we can observe, the length of vernier scale is a bit shorter than the length of main scale. The length of main scale is defined as s. And the length of vernier scale is defined as v. The difference of these two values s minus v is least count which is the highest resolution of the instruments. Then, when you use any instrument with vernier scale, firstly you must check the resolution or least count of the instruments. In this case is that the scale s or main scale divided by n when n is total division of vernier scale. Here the number of vernier scale divisions is 10 divisions, so n equal to 10. And if you arrange the equation here, we can get the relation between the main scale s and the vernier scale v, that is n minus 1 times s equal to n times v. In the example, we can see that the vernier scale divisions n equal to 10. We found that 9s equals a 10 v. Here is the important meaning. This means that in the same total length there are the main scale divisions of 9 divisions and there are the vernier scale divisions of 10 divisions. If the main scale and vernier scale are both start from zero at the end, the main scale will finish at line number 9, but vernier scale will finish at line number 10. All of these are the principle of vernier scale. Now we will learn how to use and read the vernier scale and the advanced instrument micrometer calipers. How to use the instruments. Now we will learn how to read the vernier scale. This example is vernier meter caliper. These parts are caliper that use to measure the object. The instrument consists of two main parts, the main scale on the top and the vernier scale on the bottom. In the main scale part the small division is the length of main scale s which is 1 mm in this case. Typically this number is written on the tail of the instrument. In the vernier scale part the small division is the length of vernier scale v. And the least count of the instrument is s over n. So, how to find the number of vernier scale divisions? We can find this number by count all the divisions, not only the denoted number 1, 2, 3, we must count all the divisions. After we count all the divisions, there are 50 divisions of vernier scale. So, n equal to 50. The length of main scale division is 1 mm. Then, the least count, which is s over n, is 1 over 50 and equal to 0 0.02 millimeters. We will use this value to read the vernier scale. To read the value from vernier meter, we must firstly read the zero reading. What is the zero reading? Zero reading imply us that we should not rely on the starting point of the instruments. First, we must check that the zero line of main scale and zero line of vernier scale are straight or not straight. If they are straight or direct to each other, it implies that the instrument scale start from zero and we can rely on it. 
but if it's not, meaning that there is zero reading and we must consider and include this value into the final measured value. To read the scale, we start from the main scale and later sum up with the vernier scale. Assume that we have the object between the edge of calipers. So, it's ready to read. We will firstly read the main scale using the zero line of vernier scale, which behave as a pointer. Where the zero line of vernier scale point at the main scale, we will read the main scale at that position. In this example, the main scale value is 13 millimeters. Then we must add the value from the vernier scale. How to read the vernier scale? We have to find a single line on the vernier scale that's straight or direct to a single line on the main scale. Assume that such lines of vernier scale and main scale are straight. So, we have to count the number of vernier scale division to that line of vernier scale. If we think that this is six divisions, it's wrong. Don't forget, we have to count all the divisions, include the small one. After counting, we found that the actual number of vernier scale divisions is 30. The vernier scale value can calculate from the number of vernier divisions times the least count. In this case, the Vernier scale value is 30 times 0.02 mm, which equal to 0.60 mm. So, the final value that we can read from Vernier meter is the sum of main value and Vernier value. Then, the final value is 13 mm plus 0.60 mm, which is 13.60 mm. Here you can see that there is zero at the end of such value because the resolution of the instrument has two decimal points which is 0.02 millimeters. Then the final value must keep the number of decimal points as the resolution of the instruments. This part is about micrometer caliper which consists of three scales. The main scale of micrometer caliper is on the horizontal long axis, here. If we look at the main scale, one division between the long vertical lines equal to one millimeter. And the length from long vertical line to the shorter one is 0.5 millimeters. This is the main scale of micrometer caliper. There is the rotational part which is the circular scale. At the beginning, the zero line of circular scale will straight to the reference line on top of the main scale. And the edge of circular scale is on the zero line of main scale. After we rotate the circular scale, the circular scale of 50 divisions will translate until the zero line be back to the reference line. At this position, the edge of circular scale is on the first short line of main scale, which is 0.5 millimeters. As we know that the number of circular scale divisions is 50 divisions. So, the one round of rotation of circular scale is that the edge of circular scale start from zero of main scale and the edge finish at the line of 0.5 millimeters of main scale. This means that the 50 divisions of circular scale equivalent to 0.5 millimeters. Let me write down on the board. Then one division of circular scale equivalent to 0 0.5 over 50, which is 0 0.01 millimeters. This is quite high resolution, but the micrometer can have a higher resolution by using vernier scale. As we can see the multiple lines on the top of reference line, which has 10 lines. 
All of these lines are vernier scale, which are adding into the micrometer system. Here there are 10 divisions of vernier scale. As we have learned, we can find the least count or the resolution of the instrument. First, we must know the number of vernier scale divisions, which n equal to 10. Now we must know the length of main scale. When we would like to know the length of main scale for vernier system, we must consider the relative scale that we use during reading. The bottom is the main scale of micrometer caliper, which is not the main scale of vernier system. When we read the value of vernier scale, we have to find the single line of vernier scale that relative straight to the line of circular scale. In this case, we can say that the circular scale is the main scale of vernier system. Then, s for the length of main scale division of vernier system is 0.01 mm. Then the least count is s over n, which is 0.01 divided by 10, that is 0.001 mm or 1 micrometer. That why we call this instrument as micrometer caliper because the resolution or least count of the instrument is in the range of 1 micrometer. Here is the example. First, we must read the value from the main scale of micrometer, then read the value from the circular scale, and finally, read the value from vernier scale. To read the value on the main scale, we use the edge of circular scale as the pointer. For the long line to long line of main scale is 1 mm, we can see that the edge of circular scale is close to the short line. So, we can read the value of main scale as 1 mm plus something. Then we have to add the value from another scale. To read the value on the circular scale, we use the reference line of the main scale as the pointer. The position that the reference line point is the division's value of circular scale. From the example, the reference line point to the position between the line number 45 and 44. Then we can read the division's value from circular scale as 44 divisions. We know that one division is 0.01 millimeters, so the value from circular scale is 44 times 0.01 millimeters, which is 0.44 millimeters. Finally, we have the find the value from vernier scale. We use the same concept that we must find the single line of vernier scale that relative straight to the line of circular scale. From the example, we found that the line number 3 of vernier scale is straight to the circular scale. So, there are three divisions of vernier scale. The value from vernier scale is 3 times 0.001 mm, which is 0.003 mm. Then sum up the value from main scale, circular scale, and vernier scale, we get 1.443 mm. This value obtains from micrometer caliper. Later we will show you how to apply such the instrument to any object.